Hello everybody, I am Dr. Ashish Khare, Consultant Plastic and Hair Transplant Surgeon at Kalosa Cosmetics and today we are here to discuss the most effective method of male pattern baldness and that is hair transplant or a hair restoration surgery. So basically the hair transplant surgery is transfer of the follicles from the back of the scalp which is the permanent zone to the recipient area or the bald area. Broadly, there are two methods of hair transplant which we are regularly performing at Kalosa Clinics. One is the FUE or the follicle unit extraction. The other one, FUT or the strip surgery or the follicle unit transplantation. What is follicular unit extraction? Follicular unit extraction, we have with a single graft or the follicles create specialized sponges under the loop magnification the angle and inclination of the punches have to be taken care of so that there is a minimal damage to the harvested follicles. Usually, we can harvest 2500 to 3500 grafts easily through a FUE without damaging the donor area. On the contrary or on the other hand, the FUT or the strip surgery, we harvest a strip of tissue from the most safest zone on the donor area we harvest something like 20 to 25 centimeter of strip with just usually 1.5 centimeter wide and once the strip is harvested the resultant area is closed with a track of a closure with a very linear scar which is hardly visible once the strip is harvested the individual grafts or the follicles are slivered out under loop magnification and dissected end result of both the procedures is the same that is you get a graft which need to be transplanted properly over the donor area usually at Kalosa clinics for grade 1 to grade 4 of baldness we are routinely performing FUE technique of hair transplantation which is under high magnification giving you the best of the density inclination and angle of the graft on the contrary when we have when you present us with a grade 5 or grade 6 of baldness we go for FUE and FUT combination surgeries along with a beard FUE if required. Once the graft are harvested, the patient is made to lie supine. We give a rest to the patient. After that, the area or the recipient area is numbed. The hairline is defined, redefined I would say, and the slits are made according to the pattern required. The slits are made in a grid fashion so that you won't get a very good density. The inclination, angle, distance of the slits are made under loop magnification so that there's a minimal scalp show or no scalp show. We are usually performing implantation of the graft through a forcep method with a no touch technique of the roots so that there's a minimal damage of the roots. The surgery usually lasts for something like uh, six to eight hours. And if we are doing a combination techniques, the surgery can last up to eight to 10 hours as well. What are the post-op complications? Usually patient prints presents with a minimal pain post-surgery. They can present with edema or swelling over the forehead or puffiness of the upper lid, which is minimal and for only two or three days duration. After that, everything subsides. The pain is taken care of by the painkiller medications and a course of antibiotic is also given post-surgery. The patient usually recovers in 24 to 48 hours. The patient usually do not complain of any significant pain post 48 to 8 hours. We call the patients after two days for the change of dressing and a wash is given over the recipient area. The patient is advised all sort of precautions which they have to follow post hair transplants usually the transplanted hair falls after two weeks but the root get anchored to the new recipient area the new hairs start growing from the roots in the new location and one can appreciate the new hairs growing after six weeks the final results can be ascertained and seen after eight to ten months post transplant to conclude hair transplant is the most safest and the effective method of male pattern hair loss. Thank you.